Welcome to Brainstorm MTG. I'm ELD, and this is Fast Effect Double Speed Legacy. And some spiciness going on here. It's actually goblins on my side, and not just any goblins. This is Mog Bombers goblins. I am attempting to win with Mog Bombers very often with Krenko or Siege Gang Commander to get a massive amount of damage to the face. And goblins starting out fairly typical. Aether Vial ramping up. Delver on the other side. Uh, drawing its namesake card. Of course, Delver has no basics in it, uh, making it a prime suspect, or a prime target, I should say, for all of the mana denial in goblins. Uh, however, Neil having days for that Warren Instigator, and it's a real question as to whether or not it would have been better to sit back. Of course, having Tarfire in hand it may have been better to just tar fire that Delver and just let that Aether Vial tick up. It does protect from all of those pesky counters. Vial up to two. And tar fire is going to do its job here. Of course, tar fire initially put in the deck as a four of to deal with Deathrite Shaman. The reason why many people suspect goblins really doesn't see that much play. Lackey so much worse against the 1-2. Uh, but you actually do want to be getting rid of your opponent's death rights. And Tarfire, actually a reasonable card in Legacy right now. Kills Delver, Stoneforge Mystic, Thalia, so many creatures. Uh, though I guess you don't really care that much about Thalia with Goblins. Uh, but of course, Deathright Shaman being the number one target for that Tarfire. Uh, and there it is coming down. And now three on the Aether Vial. That is going to be able to power out a Matron. And just going to cast the Mog War Marshal. Going to get some tokens in play or draw another Daze. So casting Goblins so far not working out. Daze acting as a hard counter twice. Ponder from Neil. Seeing... A Delver did not see if there was an instant or sorcery to go along with it. Usually there is. Probing to see the Siege Gang Commander, a very, very real late game threat. And there's the Delver. So whether or not we see a shuffle here indicates if there's an instant or sorcery on top. And actually going to grab the Mog Bombers here. Again, the reason I played the deck, and you may not know, but he's facing down Lethal here. Two mana cycling Gem Palm Incinerator is an option. Doesn't really do much. One of the uh, problems, if there are any, with Mog Bombers is if I do just jam it out here, if Neil plays a creature, he will die uh, doing three damage to Neil. So we don't want that. We want to do a lot more than three. There's no intervening if. And there's the death right Shaman. Here we go. It's happening. Mog Bombers, Violet 4. Cycle Gem Palm Incinerator to take out that death right down on some of the shenanigans that might be able to happen. Vile going up to five. Cavern of Souls coming down. And here we go. Siege Gang Commander. So there's a pair of triggers here. There's Mog Bombers and then Siege Gang. Going to stack those up. So the Siege Gang resolves first. That adds three more triggers for Mog Bombers, each one of those calling for the Mog Bombers to die and three damage to Neil's face. Mog Bombers is then sacrificed the Siege Gang Commander, and there it is from a board of just Matron. That combo comes together for a very prompt end to game number one. Go ahead and mark that on screen going into game two. 
This is my Grixis list. Uh, Neil looking to pilot uh, the best deck in Legacy, or so they say. So it does have some answers for goblins in there. My side of the board, Pyrokinesis, definitely worthwhile. Goblin Sharpshooter can take out Pyromancer and all of the elementals that he creates. So Goblins has a lot of tools in this format. They've been around since the beginning of the game, uh, though the majority of the improvements came uh, during the Invasion and Onslaught blocks. Onslaught, Legions, and Scourge all had their contributions. Ringleader, Gem Palm Incinerator, of course, Goblin Pile Driver, the card that really pushed the deck into prominence, along with Warchief creating hasty goblins out of nowhere. Uh, and those cards currently not in this list. Really trying to stay away from one one to one trades. Uh, particularly things that are under the limit of uh, Fatal Push. That card is everywhere. Cavern of Souls here, making stuff on counterable days, not going to be a problem this game. And Goblin Lackey coming down. Delver revealing a ball therapy. See if Neil has the black mana. And hopefully the probe to go along with it. Actually, pretty difficult deck to just throw out a blind therapy against. None of the cards you're really that thrilled to make them discard anyways. You're really hoping to hit a two-for-one if possible. And Young Pyromancer comes down. So that is a big improvement there with the Cabal Therapy. Uh, if this does survive a turn, he'll be able to cast it and flash it back. Uh, so even if he misses on the first one, he'll definitely get a good target on the second. But Gem Palm Incinerator actually takes Young Peasy out before Cabal Therapy happens. And Matron stripped from hand, but still seeing Tarfire, Warren Instigator, Siege Gang Commander. And Lightning Bolt being used on Lackey. Doesn't feel that bad. One mana versus one mana. All of that extra damage done to the Lackey. Feels okay. And Wasteland taking out the Underground here, Gurmag Angler, probably one of the bigger threats right now. In days again, the card has been phenomenal in this match so far in terms of countering goblins, but there's just so many of them, they keep coming. Delver continuing the beats. Down to just 10 now, and there's an uncounterable lackey. Brainstorm. And Delver now just stuck on one land. Will Delver start having to play defense? Wasteland again, and no Delver not interested in playing D. Stifling the Lackey trigger. Down to just four. A fetch land puts in bolt range, and there's Siege Gang Commander. That is excellent insect removal right there. Goblin Exterminator. Bugs dead, guaranteed. And now the game is swinging back in the other direction. That fetch land is going to need to be something really good to crack that fetch and go within bolt range. And another whiffed ringleader. Trying to have some fun with goblins. And the Mistress of RNG not having any interest in that. One turn away here. Neil, almost nothing could do it for him here. And just Delver, the namesake card, is just going to be here to witness the end. Incinerator clears the way. And that's it. Well, the best deck in Legacy... Can be beaten by goblins. There you go.
you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. If you want to help the channel, you can click like or subscribe, or you can check out some of our other videos covering Magic's most powerful formats. Thanks for watching.